Hey y'all, welcome to Kamira's Kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make a super easy and very juicy whole roast chicken in the air fryer. And I'm also gonna show you how I clean my chicken. Now I have a 3.5 pound chicken and really a smaller chicken is best for the air fryer, at least my size, which is a 5.6 quart. And I'm gonna start off by rinsing this chicken with cold water and putting in a little bit of vinegar. Now let's go ahead and give this chicken a name. I'm gonna call her Peachy, okay? I'm gonna rub Peachy down with half of a lemon and I'm gonna scrub that skin. That skin tends to have a yellow film on the outside where they have taken off the feathers and I really like to remove it with the lemon and the sharp side of a kitchen scissors. I don't like to use a little knife for this because I feel like it may tear the skin but I think the kitchen scissors is the best way to get peachy nice and clean, okay? So wipe peachy skin and get off all of that little yellow gunk. And then I'm also gonna go in and trim the tail. And you'll often find there will be feathers left around the bottom and we just gonna get her booty all cleaned up. Okay, so we gonna cut all of that off. We're gonna cut off the tip and I like to take those little yellow parts at the end of the legs off and I'm just gonna rinse the chicken again, scrub it one last time and boom, peachy squeaky clean. Okay, your family is gonna have some really clean chicken. I'm gonna take my paper towels and I'm gonna rub it down. Open them legs up, okay. And she gonna get rubbed down real good and we're gonna take off all of the water that was on that skin. And you must do that if you are going to want to crisp the skin up in the air fryer. Now, I know some of you guys may think this isn't clean, but guys, we sanitize in the kitchen. Go through, wash your stuff, bleach it, dawn it down, and then rinse your sink and your hands. To get started with the chicken, I'm gonna spray her down with some olive oil. This is extra virgin olive oil that I've put in my own oil container and I have all these seasonings and I'll put it in the description box what I'm using as well as some citrusy garlic seasoning and a little bit of Tony's and of course, I will be salting to my taste. Rub down peachy with that body oil. All in the legs, the front, the back, the breast is all over. I mixed up my seasoning and I'm going to generously season peachy. Now, I know this was like a lot of seasoning, okay, but you have to remember this is a whole chicken. And this chicken ain't gonna have no flavor if you don't put no seasoning on it, okay? So you have to season generously. Now the hand that I am putting in the seasoning is actually clean. I actually never touch the chicken with that part and that's why I don't contaminate the seasoning mix because I may not use all of it. I'm then gonna go in with the citrusy garlic seasoning all over. This is very similar to a mojo seasoning you might find like at Walmart. And I'm just going to use the Tony's and the salt basically as if it were salt and that is just to taste. Now, it is very important that you really get the breast meat well seasoned. That is typically a dry part of the bird. You need a lot of seasoning and salt, so lift up that skin and push the seasoning literally under the skin so that there is gonna be flavor in every bite. I do it to the front and the back side of the breast. I know I'm all up in her personal private areas, but she okay, okay? We doing her real good today. All right, now this is the season I had left. I just put this in a jar and saved it for another recipe. Now I did promise y'all a juicy chicken. And another way we're gonna get this is that we gonna stuff her up. All right, I took some celery, cut that up, stuffed it up in peachy. Put in about a fourth of an onion. I'm also gonna put in some rosemary and half of a lemon. Now while peachy is cooking, all right, these aromatics, these vegetables are going to be releasing their juices. It is going to keep her breakfast is, okay, her boobies, going to keep her boobies all, all moist, right? Which is what we want. Amen. Um, so make sure you put in some of these aromatics into your chicken. Now, my air fryer has been preheating at 380 degrees, and I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to place my chicken in with the breast side down. That's very important because we don't want that to be cooking up first because we know that can dry easier. And I'm gonna cook this for 30 minutes undisturbed. Now, I know the seasoning may look like they're burnt. It is not. Trust your girl, okay? Trust your girl. It is totally fine. 
I'm gonna spray it with some olive oil and then I'm going to flip it and then put back in that little lemon rind that was trying to play games. All right, get back in that. Get back in peachy. Okay, stop backing up. Now I'm gonna let this air fry for 10 more minutes. And then after that point, look how the skin looks. So beautiful, but we're not quite done. I'm going to baste this chicken. Now just because we're using the air fryer doesn't mean we have to forget good cooking practices, right? So I'm just going to hold the chicken up with some tongs and dip all the juices from the basket into a bowl. And this is actually really easy to do in the air fryer. I actually love it. It's easier than if I'm doing it in a cast iron pan. I'm going to take a spoon and a brush and I'm going to baste this chicken just to ensure that it does not get dry while I'm continuing to cook this chicken and crisp up the skin so just put it generously everywhere and I'm also going to go in and add about a tablespoon of butter just because I love butter okay I just really like it and I'm going to air fry this for 10 more minutes after 10 minutes my chicken is done now you need to make sure you check your tip your chicken because it really does depend on how big your chicken is just listen to how crispy this skin is Is not that some really nice skin on a roast chicken? Very hard to get a skin like that, but super easy to get it in the air fryer. Save those pan drippings from the chicken to either base on the chicken again, and this is optional, or just to put aside to saute some veggies in to go with the chicken. It has great flavor, so don't just toss that out. But I'm going to show you all how juicy this chicken is. Woo! Do you see the steam off this chicken? It was so hot, but I had to show you how juicy it was. And I had let it rest for about 10 minutes before cutting. Y'all, I don't even go for chicken breast. Y'all know I'm a thigh girl, dark meat all the way. But this chicken breast right here was very, very good and juicy. I loved this meat. And I actually took some of the juices from the chicken and I actually just went over it on the chicken breast meat itself just for extra flavor, but it didn't even need it because it was so good. The stuffing and this chicken, we're gonna take this out and place it to the side. Y'all can see that lemon is done. Honey, it's done. I'm gonna take all these little celery bits and onion bits and rosemary. They have done their job. Look how juicy the inside of that chicken is. If your chicken doesn't come out crispy and juicy, let me tell you something, honey. You ain't follow this recipe because this southern girl know how to cook some chicken. Guys, I love you and thank you for joining me today in Kamira's Kitchen. I'll see you next time and goodbye.